Hello heroes and welcome to my challenge run to Dark Souls 1 where we try and beat the game as death. But death is kind of vague, so what does that entail? Well, we're going to be allowed to use anything that death uses in any depiction of it. So, what do you think of when you think of death? Well, primarily you think of a scythe. Our only melee weapon we're going to be allowed to use is scythes. And what is he wearing? He's garbed in black robes. Only black robes, no armor. He also uses, to a lesser degree, dark magics, so I'm going to allow hexes, but you only get them at the end of the DLC, so I don't know how much use we're going to get out of those. And he's a bone bro, so any skeletal cosmetics will also be allowed. And the challenge is completed once we've beaten all five red phantoms and all 26 bosses. Hello everybody, I'm Mustang Gas, and welcome back to the grand final in my Dark Souls 1 challenge run, where we try and beat the game as death. There is only three bosses left, and those are the three hardest ones. We have the final boss of the main story, the Manus of the Abyss boss, and the hardest boss in the entire game, the Mega Dragon boss, Calamine. So without further ado, we are going straight to the DLC. Is it the crystal lizard there? No! How are you supposed to get that crystal lizard? Actual. All I gear is max, we don't need to be worried about it, but still. It's annoying that I can't get that. You see how much damage they deal? That is big damage. Double kill. Oh my god, they can do so much damage with that attack. Oh, that's a trap. Uh, we never got any more Lords Talismans, do we? I don't even think any NPCs sell them. You get like four at the beginning, and that's it for your whole playthrough. Dug down. Attack. Only a tank that doesn't deal damage. Speaking of damage, oh my god, we just got annihilated that thing. Crest key. Okay, well that was important to kill. Oh no, that's that's not a whiff. That's genuinely out of range. Uh oh, oh, the fucking hiding around the corner. That's cruel. That's cruel. We literally tried to play around that and we were out of range. What the fuck is that up there? Whatever it is, it's coming. This is going to be one of the craziest looking enemies in all of the Souls franchise. <laughs> we need like the cast light spell. What am I even looking at here? This looks like it belongs in Bloodborne. I think it's someone who was like tied to a pole. It's like a penance. But he's like so ripped he like pulled the pole off. Oh, and he's got a bonk attack. Okay, okay, let's read for that. Oh, that had some range, holy shit. <laughs> you might have survived getting tired to the pole, but death came from eventually. 1,000 souls? Damn, game, I thought there was going to be like a 10,000 soul special enemy kill. Oh. More crystal wizards? Wait, come back! This is running into me, in, in, me into an enemy, I swear to god. Oh my god! The only enemy that the scythe isn't good against, the fucking crystal lizard. Oh, well that's a scary sight to look at in the distance. Oh my god, that is a long combo, holy shit. We got his head?! We got his fucking head?! What does that look like? I, I didn't even know that was a fucking drop. <laughs> holy shit! Holy shit. That's gonna be like top 10 most gnarly headgears in fucking Dark Souls history. Holy crap. It still blows my mind that there's people who beat Calamid in the air. How? How? How do you do that? How do you do that? There he is, chat. Big Manus. The thing that broke many players on the one hit kill challenge. Thank God. Thank you. You can't hide in the abyss any longer. Death has come for you. Oh, 
the combo! The combo! That's scary. That's scary. You get caught in any part of that and you're just doomed to take the rest of the combo. That's pretty much one hit kill if we get uh, if we get stuck with that hit us. We died down there? Where is that? Oh my god, is that Manus? Can we actually see him from all the way up here? Could you like cheese him by shooting him from here with a bow? Because I think bows, unlike sorceries, travel an infinite distance. What? Surely not. You can! That's insane. That is insane. All right, so you get the big sweep. No? Okay, it doesn't always do the same stuff. Oh, okay, 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 let's put some range. What is the precursor to his combo? That's the thing I'm scared of. That's why I'm not like staying close to him, I'm just mashing at attacks. Oh, you can hit his hand when he swings at you. That is good to know. Oh, that's huge. There's no way you can combo us out if we're hitting the hand. Oh, shit! I don't remember that attack! You did the same thing with Sif? Huh, oh, I didn't do that. Dude's got a fucking shotgun! shield you oh I thought that was gonna be the slam he's very passive no my stamina was recovering oh that wasn't the combo I thought he was about to combo us out grab our souls because why not That's the combo, nice. We were, we were reported at that time. Oh! Fuck, I forgot about the jump at the end. Gotta be careful when the ledge will be rain up. One more, more, no! Yes, let's go. Third tries the charm. Third tries the charm, chat. Hell yes. You get 10 humanities for that, hell yeah. Hey, I was gonna save you, but... Yeah, sorry. Death came a little early. I mean, that's the only opportunity to get to it. T minus two bosses left to go, chat. Here we go, chat. The biggest bad in Dark Souls 1. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Is offhand a blessed weapon? Is that good or like carrying a or something? Wow, yeah, that's what I got the first one. So, if you're not familiar with this boss, you probably saw that and you're like, wow, that looks fucking impossible unless you're using a bow build. And even with a bow build, it would be a nightmare. And you're 100% right. What you were supposed to do is use the key we found earlier to go and say hello to Giant McGee over here, who apparently is the person who crafts those throwable wood things that say things like, very good. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's cool to finally meet the guy who crafts those and ask him for a favor and he will help you shoot down Calamede so melee builds actually stand a chance. But trust me, even with that, this is still one of the hardest fights in Dark Souls 1 by a large margin, but at least we have a chance now. My range is champ. What if we hit him with a little boot? Oh no, that hit him. We only did 54 though, so that would be Oh my god, you can't play range against him for that attack. You really can't. Okay, that's the furthest attack I've gotten in the tail so far. No! He was on like a slight incline so his tail wouldn't go away. Don't let him get that jump on attack. Uh oh. If we could dodge that attack, that would be such a good hit on the tail. Whoa. Okay, good doing his bit of the discus. Can play Beyblade for me. Got him in the corner though, that's good. Oh, he knows. Oh, I did not do that distance right! Oh my god, that was worth a roll. You gotta jump that roll though, enough. Yes! Yes! Woo! We've got it! We've got it! Oh my god, I've never had that weapon. I've platinum this game twice. I've never got that good weapon before. Let's go! Okay, now we just need to take it home. No! Oh, that's like the only attack that can afford us there. boss in the game? Damn! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, Calamity Ring? Oh yeah. And Tail Weapon? Holy shit, chat. We are on a roll. We are on a roll. Let's look at this thing. Obsidian Greatsword. 
fancy. We actually have the stats to wield it too, wow. Whoa, cool. It's got like an explosion attack. The only ring that actually shows something. That's right. If you want to, you can give yourself the mark of Calamede and take double damage at all times. Wow. Just what I always wanted. Give me warm. Give me soft. Hmm, warm and soft. What's warm and soft, chat? Oh, the cold soul of the King of the Abyss. They'll love that, right? They'll love that. There it is, the Pursuers. The Pursuers, chat. Cool, cool. Oh, is it official? Is it official? Not too long, man. There it is! So, if you're wondering what on earth just happened there, we traded Manus's soul in order to get the fourth and final hex spell, Pursuers. This is a hex version of Homing Soul Mass, the sorcery that casts five little orbs above your head that follow you around and fly at nearby enemies. A really excellent spell, but in order to be able to use it, we are going to need at least 32 magic. So I went and grabbed the covered a silver serpent ring to get more souls and set down to grinding finally we can cast it chat pursuers oh yeah look those are our little souls we've siphoned off our good enemies that is very death right there chat that is very death i'm glad we found that that is freaking cool now, I did initially plan on not allowing grinding in this playthrough, but in my mind, I set an imaginary cap of about level 100, and somehow we were only at level 85 when we started grinding, and 93 when we finished, so we're still under the level I set myself, so I'm happy with that little bit of grinding, and it's a really cool spell that I really wanted to make use of. There's only one battle left to use it with, but we're still going to make a little bit of use out of it. Now, before we take on the last boss, it's time to bring death to every NPC. Yes, death has come for you, Red Dragon. Death has come for you, Oh, bonus point fresh from the block. Annihilate. You thought you were safe in that prison? Nowhere is safe from death. Oh my god, he hit us with a triple combo! Not bad, dude, not bad. Respect. Three humanities as well, and the black. Nice. I have 20,000, they're 1,000 each. How does that make sense? He only has three for sale. You only have three for sale?! Then you might die! Oh, you're most welcome. Death has come. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but death comes for all. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Now, I was just about to go and take on the final boss, and then I remember there's one secret area we still haven't been to. There's no mainline bosses there, but there's a Hydra that needs to be brought death. <laughs> then, behind that is a fake wall. That leads to another item. So you're like, oh my god, I can't believe there was a fake wall with an item. That's crazy. And then there's another fake wall that leads into a whole other area. Well, if it isn't Monsieur Hydra, you're going down. Not or was it wasn't. It was. Cheeky 10k souls there. Who put it there? What's it doing there? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. All right, no more putting it off. We have killed all the bosses, all the red phantoms, explored all of the secret areas, ground out everything that death could possibly have equipped, and now it's finally time. The combination of all our hard work, the final boss. Bring it on. Get it, nice. Then chuck a dark pursuers on. Oh! 
All right, no more fucking around. I'm in the zone now. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, that's a little cool. Oh, that's a fucking huge start. Whoa, what's he doing? He just stood there. We like staggered him somehow. We went underneath that attack, no way. I'm gonna risk a second cast. Oh, we actually got it up. Insane damage. My God, wrecked him! King wrecked him. That was annihilation. That was absolute annihilation, chat. Wow, wow. And with that, we proved you can beat Dark Souls One as death. Now you'd think I'd go for the uh, the darkness ending where you like leave and the world falls into darkness, but death is nothing without life. So we are actually going to choose the light the flame ending so everyone can be alive again and get an opportunity to die. But unfortunately, that is the end of the series. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you want to be my hero, why not consider subscribing? And if this wasn't quite intense enough for you, feel free to check out my Twitch channel where we recorded all of this along. And if you're excited to see Death take on one of the future Souls games, let me know in the comments which game you would like to see. I definitely want to take this further, although some of the games are going to be a bit awkward, like Demon Souls only has a pre-order scythe that can't be upgraded, Bloodborne you only get a scythe for killing literally the last boss, so that's going to be a little bit awkward. But with that, that is all we have time for today everybody. Thank you all so much for watching.